The ability to read roundabout signs is essential for any driver in the UK, as we have thousands of roundabouts. They are everywhere and come in all different shapes and sizes. Some have only two exits and others up to six. Some are very small and others are huge and have the national speed limit. Since there is no such thing as a standard roundabout, in this video we will explain why we must read the sign before a roundabout to understand its layout and cross it safely. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss our next video. And if you have any questions about this video, then comment below. Of course, when driving on roads we know well, there is no need to use road signs. But as soon as we are in an unfamiliar area, then we should use any road signs present to help us plan ahead. Reading the sign means that we are able to get into the correct road position before the roundabout and then use good lane discipline on it. If we miss the sign or don't bother to read it, we will be approaching the roundabout blind. If we then find ourselves in the wrong lane, we may be forced to choose between a quick lane change and taking the wrong exit and a detour. Even when following the route on a sat-nav, it is wise to check the road sign for each junction as well, just in case the road layout has changed since the map on the sat-nav was made. At the next roundabout, we want to follow signs to the sports centre, so what information do we need? The first thing we need to get from the sign is the direction we are turning towards, as this will allow us to position in the correct lane before we reach the roundabout. The second thing we need is the number of the exit we are taking, as this means we can count the exits as we pass them and change lanes smoothly before the exit we need. Reading the sign in this order works well, as it is the same order that we need the information in when driving. So the first thing we need to do is work out which direction we need to turn at the roundabout. If we think of the roundabout as a clock face, we always enter the sign at the six o'clock position. If our exit is between seven and 10 o'clock, we would generally treat this as a left turn. If our exit is from 11 to 12 o'clock, we would normally treat this as going straight ahead. Finally, if our exit is between 1 and 5 o'clock, then we would probably treat this as a right turn. In this case, we would like to go to Thurston, so that will be straight ahead, second exit. These directions are not fixed, as occasionally we might find an unusual roundabout that we feel needs to be treated differently. For example, this roundabout has only three exits, and we would treat the first exit as a left turn, even though its position means we could also treat it as straight ahead. This way we can indicate left earlier to signal where we are going. It is also important to know the number of our exit so we can count our way towards it. This is especially useful on larger roundabouts where we can't look across the centre island to spot our exit. At this six exit roundabout, we intend to drive towards Thetford and the sign shows that it is straight ahead, third exit. Since it is straight ahead and there are no road markings, we should use the left lane on the roundabout. Our lane choice is based on the direction we are taking, not the number of the exit. It doesn't matter whether the straight ahead is the first, second or even third exit. We should use the left lane unless road markings state otherwise.
Here is another roundabout where we need to drive to Bury St Edmunds. The sign shows that we need to turn right first exit. Since we are turning right, we should use the right lane. It doesn't matter if it's the first exit, as the number of the exit has no bearing on our lane choice. The highway code states the default lane choice at a roundabout is that we use the left lane when turning left or going straight ahead and the right lane when turning right. However, we must also watch out for any road markings as they may tell us to treat the lanes differently. At this roundabout, the road markings show that we are allowed to use either lane to go ahead. In this situation, we generally prefer to use the left lane as it is easier to leave the roundabout. However, if we know that we will be turning right just after the roundabout, we might use the right lane instead. At the next roundabout, we are told to use the right lane when driving ahead, and it is important that we do this correctly, as other traffic will misread where we are going if we do not, which could cause danger. However, what if traffic following us don't see the road markings? They might try to go straight ahead in the left lane, which would put them in a collision course with us. We have seen this happen many times at this junction, so we always check our left mirror in case we need to take avoiding action. Whenever we use an unusual or complicated roundabout, it is more important than usual to keep an eye on the position of other vehicles. Let's keep an eye on the black car to our left. Where does it look like they are going? Being aware of other vehicles' position is important because they might use a different lane than we would, or simply make a mistake with their positioning. If this results in the other vehicle doing something unexpected, we could be in danger of a collision. To minimise this danger, we always check our blind spot before we change lanes and try to avoid driving in anyone else's blind spot. In the UK, drivers on around 20% of driving tests will be asked to follow road signs independently for about 20 minutes, so it is a skill worth practising. The other 80% of tests will be asked to follow the examiner's sat-nav, but even then the road signs can help us understand the roundabout layout, so we can plan ahead. For more information about independent driving on the test, please click the link above for our separate video. As with many things to do with driving, there is no one rule to follow that is always correct when reading a roundabout sign. Some roundabouts will have a simple four-way layout and others are more unusual. When approaching a roundabout, we will have to use our own judgement to decide the safest way to handle the situation. Our aim should always be to make our intentions as obvious as possible to others and prevent any danger caused by misunderstanding where we are going. So remember to read the sign as early as possible, find the direction of your exit, count the number of your exit and watch out for any road markings. If you found this video interesting then please visit our channel as there are over 100 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.